the book, yes, it's called The Boy, the Mole, the Fox and the Horse. And it is centrally about a boy, a mole, a fox and a horse. And it's, it's about their friendship, their conversation, what they think about life, how they relate to each other. It's about their fears, their dreams, their hopes, what they struggle with. Um, it's, it's, so it's really uh, a graphic, little, a small graphic novel of images with conversation over landscape. With You've got the boy who's naturally inquisitive, he's probably about six or seven, asking questions, usually. And the horse answers them, but the mole has answers. The fox rarely speaks, because the fox is being damaged by life, so he's silent, essentially. But they love him, he, but he's silent. So the four of them are just meander around, looking at things and chatting. Um, there's no real narrative like this happened and then this happened and here they are and then the, you know there, there are one or two events but essentially the conversations are, are the book and um, it's, it's actually a very simple book. I wish I could describe it in a really like, uh, like clear way but it's a book that I think in essence needs sort of would need to be discovered and it's a bit like trying to describe a cat is it's very, if you've never seen or met a cat, it's quite hard to describe. But it's a very simple little narrative, almost a narrative, about these guys. Um, and into vulnerability, they're quite vulnerable with each other. They dare to be vulnerable, which makes them closer, you know, it's that kind of thing. Um, and it's really for anyone. I, you know, it's Maya, who's three, my mum's 88. So anything between, you know. Yeah. And also, I think, you know, when I was doing the early drawings, I have an Instagram account and I would put the drawings on the account. And I really loved reading and responding to people and what, how they felt about the drawings. You know, I have quite a lot of people going, yeah, my, my, my son's struggling with this or I am struggling with that or, you know, I've got a horse like this. Yeah, the answers were so varied um, and moving and they, they really helped me sort of generate the conversations and the direction of the conversations and um, so I, I'm really grateful to them because uh, they they helped generate the energy. I was terrible, at, I used to, you know, I was really bad at treating myself well and, and I've learned to sort of love myself. So all those things, the things I think I probably learned in life, I'm trying to sort of distill and simplify right down into these little, these little people. Because, um, you know, hopefully someone somewhere will get, you know, something from them. I have no idea, you know, when you do it like this, which is quite open-ended and it's asking questions and it's, it's not, you know, there's a, there's, a lot, there's a lot of space in the book for people to fill in. Physically as well, there are blank pages and I hope they scribble on them and I hope they make a mess of the book and write their own answers in them and, you know, just... I think I have no idea how people will feel. Some might not like it at all. Some might think it's a bit odd. Some might, I don't know, but I like to think that everyone has a completely unique response to it. And if I had to say what I would love them to feel, I'd like, well, I'd like it really to stimulate like conversation and for friendships to grow out of the conversations and for it to stimulate honesty. I know for a long time I never dared really say how I felt about life. Um, so, you know, just to catalyse good, good things mm. that help people live more deeply, probably.